So in today's video, we will be creating this scene in Blender using cycles and as always the Blender file of this project is in the description below. So without any further ado, let's get started. So the first step for making this kind of scene is to block out the composition with some assets. So first I will delete the default cube as usual and then I will add these assets which I modeled by following a tutorial. I made this structure which has some simple ornaments for some detail and a Corinthian column. I will make a separate video on how to model this kind of architecture plus I will give away the whole architecture path that I have modeled in the upcoming video. But of course you will get these two assets in Blender file of this project in the description below. Anyways you can add an array modifier to it. I will turn on cavity to get a much better view. And then play around with the offset value on x axis to merge them together. In my case it is 0.995. Then I will adjust the scale of this column and place it under the structure. Then I will duplicate the column and move it to the right side. If you want these double columns in the hallway, you can place these columns on both sides like I did. But if you want a single column hallway, you can place only one column on the right side of this structure. So now we have got this kind of structure and I will apply this array modifier. And then select these three assets by holding down shift and join them together by pressing ctrl j. Then I will go to object and under set origin, select origin to geometry. Then I will again add an array modifier to this whole structure and again change the offset value on x axis to merge them together and increase the count value to whatever you like. Once you are done you can apply the modifier because we are going to be duplicating this a bunch of times. So I will press alt d for duplicating and then rotate this whole structure to 180 degrees on z axis and align them together. Then set up your camera and press N to get this menu and select this low camera to view option to change the camera positions easily. And now it's time to model the floor with the pool. So for that I will press shift A and add a cube. Then I will press tab to go to edit mode. Click on this button to select faces and select the top face of the cube. Press X to delete this face. Then click on this button to get X-ray view and select the top vertices of the cube and move them down. Then press E to extrude and then S to scale. And then again press E to extrude along Z axis and then repeat the process a few times. If you think the steps are too wide, you can select the bottom vertices and move them up. Then again select the top vertices and press E to extrude them and press S to scale them. You can adjust the sides according to your camera resolution. Then I will select these vertices and move them because I want a longer pool. But you can adjust the shape to whatever you like. Then for the top floor, I will simply duplicate this structure by pressing Alt-T and just move them on top. And same goes for the other side. For the front, I will again duplicate these two, rotate them and move them in front. And you can always change their positions. Then I will add a sunlight on top. Increase its strength to something like 35 and also choose a warmer color. The sides are empty right now so I will add a cube and scale it up to make walls. Duplicate it by pressing shift D and place it on other sides. I also want to create these windows and a doorway so we can see outside. So for this I will press shift A and add a circle. Then I will go to edit mode 
and select half of the bottom vertices and delete them by pressing X. Then select these two vertices and press E to extrude them along Z axis. Then press A to select all the vertices and press F to fill them with face. And then again press E to extrude the face. Then I will go back to object mode and then right click and choose auto smooth. Make sure under normals auto smooth is checked. Then press Ctrl A to apply all transforms and again set origin to geometry. Then place it where you want your doorway. Adjust its size and add a boolean modifier to the wall. And under object select the object that we just created. Once the boolean is applied you can hide the door object or even delete it if you want because we don't need it anymore. Since I also want windows on the top floor, so I will duplicate that object and place it where I want my windows. Press Ctrl J to join them together and then once again add the boolean modifier. Of course you can join all three of them together and then add the boolean modifier at once but I have done it this way for the tutorial. Then I have this model of an arch which again I will model in the next tutorial but for now it's in the blender file of this project. So I will place it on the doorway and on the windows. I also modeled these railings which I will place on the top floor. And now it's time for texturing our sink. So these structures have a basic white concrete texture to them with some bumps on it. And I will apply the same texture on every other object because I want the whole architecture to be almost white. So for the pool, I will first add the same concrete texture to it. And then I will go to the edit mode and turn on the x-ray and face select mode. And select these faces. And then I will apply another texture to this area. I will apply this blue swimming pool texture from Megascan but you can use any texture that you want. Just like this. If your viewport is becoming laggy you can always change their viewport visibility to bounds. This way they will be displayed as bounds but in render view they will be displayed as they were. We certainly have to add water to our pool so for this I will press shift A and add a plane. Then I will apply an ocean modifier to it. Decrease the size and also decrease the wave scale. I want almost flat water surface with some little bumps on it so I will increase the resolution to something like 20 or 30. And change the spectrum to establish ocean. This will create very little bumps on the surface just as I want them. Then I will add a material to it. Choose a slightly blue color with zero roughness and 1.33 IOR value and transmission all the way up. To get some nice caustics in our pool I will first select the sun and check shadow caustics. Then I will select the water plane and go to object properties tab and under shading select cost shadow caustics. Then select the floor plane and for this select receive shadow caustics. I don't know if you can see the caustics on the screen but that's how you do caustics in blender. You can also add an HDRI for some better lighting. And I don't like the HDRI sky so for this I will add an image as a plane of a sky. Make sure to click on emit and also increase its strength. Scale it up and place it in the background. And now the only thing remaining is to filling out the scene with some foliage. I will use free assets from Max Free Pack. I'll put a link to it in the description and if you want to see the full guide you can watch this video of mine. For the pool I will add these lily pads from Quixel Megascan. 
I just changed their scales, rotated them and then duplicated them a bunch of times. And we are done. And here is our final render. If you found this video helpful, make sure to give it a like, subscribe to my channel and then I'll see you guys in the next video.